Hey everybody, welcome to the Alaska Update. So, as many of you know, I moved here to Alaska for a couple months. I got here in January and it's now March 21st? March 21st and it's been a really cool time. So I thought I'd make an update just to let you guys know what I've been up to, what we've been doing ministry-wise, and all the other cool stuff that's going on. So as you guys probably know, I'm living in Fairbanks, which is the second largest city in Alaska. The largest city is Anchorage, which a lot of Alaskans here in the interior in Northern Alaska just uh, pretend that Anchorage isn't even part of Alaska because it's so, it's actually, it's an actual city compared to the rest of Alaska, which is really just towns and villages and small little <clears throat> occupancies. Now in regards to Fairbanks itself as a city, it's a very interesting place. As an outsider, I have noticed that it doesn't really have a cultural identity like a lot of cities or places. Like, um, I think the reason for that is because a lot of people who live in Fairbanks are not really locals to Fairbanks. The reason that is because there's a huge Air Force base here, Fort Wainwright, and there's just there's a large military presence, which everybody's not from here because they've been brought in from the lower 48 to be in the military. And yeah, that combined with a large native uh, Alaskan native population who have traveled down from the villages up north um, makes this a very interesting place, people-wise, and it's been a good, good place to experience. So, as I'm sure you guys know, Alaska is really far north, Fairbanks included, and because of that, our sunlight is really weird here. So when I first got here, at the beginning of January, there was about three and a half hours of sunlight. It rose at like 11 in the morning, just before noon, and set, set at like 2.33. And it was really, really dark, really sad kind of sometimes, um, that you would never see the sunlight if you were busy during those few hours of sunlight. But now that I've been here for two and a half, closest to three months, the sun is beating, it's beautiful out, I'm loving it. Um, we actually passed the lower 48 in sunlight duration the other day on March 18th. So now we have more sunlight than everybody down there in the lower 48. So, ha! I do know that it's still warmer though, but we do have lots of sunlight. The sun rises at 8 a.m. here and sets at 8 p.m. right now. And we're gaining roughly seven minutes of daylight a day, which is amazing. And I can't wait for all this snow to melt so I can go doing more hikes. One of the best parts about those cold, dark Alaskan nights though, which there still is plenty of them, is that the northern lights are out very often and it's awesome. They are so pretty. I'll put a picture right here. I saw some um, the other day right in front of our house. They were moving, ribboning, looked like an angel flying across the sky. It was awesome. Um, yeah. Highly recommend seeing the Northern Lights if you ever get the chance. And also, the average temperatures here in like January, February were probably negative 25 to negative 10 on average. And you get pretty used to the cold, honestly. I'm pretty, I'm standing out here in 15 degree weather right now because it's a beautiful day. And I was like, 15 degrees is so nice compared to negative 25. Um, but once you hit like negative 20 degrees, everything below that just feels the same cold. It all feels the same. Um, it's just your body starts to like hurt faster from frostbite. So you gotta be careful when you're out there looking for Northern Lights in the negative 35 degree weather. Um, yeah. Now, on the side of mission work, because that's why I'm here, I'm serving with the Catholic Mission Apostolate. It's a team of a couple of us missionaries and we have been leading Bible studies, youth groups, RCIA classes, and young adult groups all around, from around the Fairbanks area. 
and it's been going really well, really um, rewarding, and I feel like we're making a big difference. We have been going through the book of Acts for our Bible study. We've been working with a group of seven or eight different confirmation kids um, from different churches around and helping them get confirmed, working with five or six RCIA candidates to be um, able to join the church in Easter, so I'm really excited for them. And also we've gone on some retreats out to some villages. So originally the plan for retreats was we were going to go to a lot of the villages up north where there's no road access. However, because of COVID, they don't want anybody bringing any sickness into the area. So no one is allowed to visit um, a lot of those villages. So we are not, we're not traveling there. We're sticking to villages on the road system like Delta Junction. We might go down to Healy sometime and we've been leading retreats out there, which have been really, really cool. So in regards to the native Alaskans here, when I first came, I thought they were all Inuits because that's just the term that I had heard, but apparently Inuits are more over in Canada. The native Alaskans that live here are Inupiaqs and Athabascans, and they are beautiful cultures, and I'm loving getting to spend time with those that I do meet from those cultures. However, since many of these native Alaskans live in villages that are remote and don't have any road access or any access other than by plane and the occasional boat up the Yukon River, they have a lot of things that they struggle with. There's not a lot of economic opportunity or job opportunities. So alcoholism and poverty and drug abuse and sex abuse unfortunately runs pretty rampant up there. So that's some of the ministry that we've wanted to help out with is helping them um, get, get to a place where they need to be and reunite um, culture while keeping their native heritage. So it's been a really interesting experience getting to meet them and learning more about their stories. One way that I've gotten to meet a lot of these native Alaskans is through the new job that I just got. So I have been volunteering at the Fairbanks Rescue Mission here in Fairbanks for about a month now. I have just was working as like their admin guy, um, volunteering. And now they hired me to be a full-time employee. So I'm half-time admin staff, just checking people into the door, answering phone calls and stuff. And the other time I'm the van driver. So I drive clients who are living there at the homeless shelter to and from the recycling center, which, which is also a part of the rescue mission. And while I drive these guys, I've had the opportunity to chat with them and hear some of their stories. And it's really, really inspiring to both hear their stories as a homeless person and also as a native Alaskan. So I've really enjoyed my new work and I've only been working as an official employee for a couple days, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to keep going with that work and ministry with the homeless. So now for this last segment, I'm just gonna kind of name a few things that I've done, which were really fun. And then I'll point here and hopefully I'll make a picture up here of it so you guys can see what's been going on. So first, I joined the Knights of Columbus up here recently in February and have really enjoyed getting to know those men and grow in faith with them in our Catholic faith. And I plan to transfer over to the one back at home, the council at my church when I get there. So I'm really happy to be part of the Knights of Columbus and we're, gonna, we're doing really good things. So I'm excited about it. Also, the other day we went to the ice park here in Fairbanks. At the fairgrounds, they have this really big ice sculpture competition full of ice sculptures and ice slides and it's really cool. Lots of, lots of very impressive sculptures from people all around the world who've come to Fairbanks to make ice sculptures. Also, these are our two dogs, Frosty and Coppy. Um, they are amazing. I never have had a dog before, so having these dogs is amazing. They're Samoyeds, that's their breed. They are amazing fluffball polar bears. 
awesome. They just kind of sit out here in the snow all day long. And then they come in and snuggle with us at night. It's great. Um, I love them. Unfortunately, I think they're gonna be going down to Pennsylvania in Easter time to, because the lady who actually owns the dogs is taking them home. So we'll, we will miss them, but they'll love the Pennsylvania warmth too. <laughs> also the other day, we washed one of the cats that lives here. Her name is Kimmy and she really smells like all the time and I do not know why. She just permanently stinks. So we gave her a bath and she smells slightly better. So here's a little clip of it. I made a vlog if you're interested. Um, but yes, Kimmy is more clean and that's good. Okay, now for some rapid fire points. The only trees that exist here in Fairbanks are spruce and birch trees. There's literally nothing else. It's so weird. Number two, weed is legal here and I find it so funny to look at all the funny um, marijuana shops names. So one of them is just called Good Cannabis. One is called The Grass Station and it's just an old abandoned gas station that they've renovated into a weed shop. I don't smoke weed up here, but it's very funny to look at them to me. One of them is just a big barn with the, a big blue barn with the Alaskan flag with the Big Dipper, you know, and then the very last star is just a weed symbol. Anyways, I always enjoy looking at the weed signs, weed shop signs, because they're very funny to me. <laughs> okay. Now finally, I've been trying to work on a Meet the Missionaries vlog so that you guys can see who I've been working with and stuff. But till I get that out, I'm going to just put a picture of them here. So first we have Ben, my roommate. Great man, we do lots of hiking together. We have Robert, who is also awesome. He is from He's from New York, from Buffalo actually, and studies theology. He's going to grad school right now. Also forgot to mention Ben graduated from college in Iowa. He's from Illinois originally. Third, we have Michelle. She's originally here from Fairbanks. She's awesome, love Michelle. Um, she's over at uh, Denny's right now, having a nice post-mass breakfast. Um, and then lastly, we have Ashley, who is also from Fairbanks, and she's like our team leader. Love Ashley. I love our whole team. There's our team, and here's a photo of our whole team as a big family. <clears throat> All right, so I think that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing about what's going on here in Alaska. If you have any other questions, feel free to send them to me. Just put them in the comments wherever just let me know because I'd love to uh, make make more information I'll let you guys know what's going on more and I will be back in New York on June 7th looking forward to it I'll be working at Camp Guggenheim as a counselor this summer and that's gonna be awesome and finally yeah God is good snow fell that was scary God's good. Love you all. We'll see you soon.